and welcome back once again. Um, joined by Cape State Owls head coach Mark Terrio. Coach, you guys had several goals in transition today. Talk to me about how important that is to your success. Absolutely. The, the kids just ran up and down the field really well today they they moved you know moved the ball and um you know anytime you can have some transition goals you know um uneven goals it really gets um you know puts the points on the on the board and you know quite honestly gets it gets the team fired up and it it keeps them wanting to keep pushing and pushing and that's exactly what they did did today yeah and um switching on a guy who we saw multiple times lead that transition and possibly one of the best athletes on your team um colby quiet uh just talk Talk to me about his impact on the team, um, not only in transition, but also with face-offs and on the offensive end. Yeah, he, he's just a workhorse for us. He, Like you said, he does everything. He faces off. He gets all the ground balls. He puts the ball in the net. He's always hustling. You know, at the end of the game, he's always the one that's completely soaked with sweat because you know that every time he steps on the field, he's going to give 110%. And after two tough games um, at the end of the regular season, um, how important do you feel like it was that you guys got off to a good start and maybe were able to rest some guys at the end of the game? Absolutely. Yeah, that, that was um, our goal, and it actually did work out. But, yeah, we, we were hoping that we could, you know, bang it up right at, you know, right at the beginning, put a lot of goals in. And I believe in the first half we scored 14 and 7-7. Seven and seven. That, that's, a, that's a great, um, great half, you know, to score 14 goals. So I, I know, you know, we, we weren't complacent for the second half, but we knew – that we might have a little bit of wiggle room to get some, start getting some other guys in to start resting for Western Connecticut on, on Thursday. And that Western Connecticut game was indeed a shootout. Now you get to face them again in the semifinals for a chance to play in the LEC finals. So good luck on Thursday, Coach. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. All right, pay attention. Welcome to Fandom 101. We'll cover the tools of the trade from foam fingers in the wave to the super secret wave. How's that for a course description? Lesson one, your game starts long before the opening whistle, so arrive prepared. Two, if something piques your interest, raise your hand. And three, work in groups. NCAA championships, attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. And that just about wraps it up here today from the Owl Athletic Complex. Make sure to check out that game that the men's lacrosse team has at Western Connecticut in the semifinals at 7 p.m. Um, as for women's lacrosse, they have a game at 6 p.m. today against Eastern Connecticut. So make sure to tune in to Owl's Media Network for that one. With, uh, um, <laughs> without further ado, I'm Logan Peranto. And from Jake Terrio and all of us here at Owls Media Network, have a great rest of your day. And that's going to do it. Keene State College Owls take the win in the quarterfinal round against Mass Maritime. And they will move on to face Western Connecticut on the road on Thursday for a chance to be in the LEC Championship. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.